players and commentators alike. And up next, a very fiery encounter as the, the Jamaican team, as you look at the lineup there, we can look out for a lot of action from these players. The Shanique Smith here, yeah, look, look out for all these, these ladies here from the Mona Titans. You know, lots of local girls out here gonna show. Some of the highlights of this dominant performance from Jamaica. The first one out there, Navisha Scarlett going over. She took three or four players with her to score that one. Dodd was uh, phenomenal with a brace of uh, good, good tries. Jamaica cheered on as usual, as you would expect, not only from their substitutes, but from the home crowd as well. And a few of the other teams that have stuck around just to watch the rest of the games today, even on the uh, under 19 boys side of things. Can't say enough about Shanique Smith. She's been phenomenal today. Another, another one for Dodd. She, she had a great game, getting at least a couple. Smith dots over another one. This was Lovell Evans, just walking past us at the moment, uh, past the commentary booth. She did well today. Really controlled the game, especially in the second half. Great. A lot of very strong running from Jamaica, from all areas of the field as well. It just wasn't any one or two superstars. Vanessa Henry there, you saw, dotting that one over. But sorry, Lovell Evans after a Vanessa Henry good run. This, for me, was the best. The little hitch kick there to go over that 50-yard line. And uh, let's, let's just point this out, ladies and gentlemen. Custodio is no slouch. She's probably the fastest person on the Dominican Republic team, and she couldn't keep pace there on that one. And they finally got that game done. It's a long one. It was a long day at the office for the Dominican Republic. I'm Kelsen Figaro here with Denise from Dominican Republic. Not your day so far. No, not at all, not at all. <laughs> well, going back, going back to day two of rugby, what will be, what will you, the discussion be with you and the players going into day two tomorrow? Uh, we talk on defense, to be completely honest. Uh, I feel like our line was a little not connected, and that really hurt us, especially with a fast Jamaican team. So it's just connection and our defense and just moving the ball out to the win and offense for sure. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I'm with Rani here from Jamaica Rugby, and congratulations on two victories today. And Thank how you. how are you feeling? And how the team is feeling? Good, good, good. I think we really turned it around from the first game. We went back upstairs and had a look at ourselves, and and discussed what 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 we what went wrong and what we can fix. And it, it was just basically making the ball move rather than overworking ourselves. The ball's always going to move faster than you in rugby, so that's exactly what we did. What was the challenges to build up and pull this team together for this competition? I think we, we had a heavy heavy training week. We've, we've been here since, since Saturday. Um, we've trained together every day, and I think that we've, there's a lot of us that have come from all over, all over the world. So I think we really made it gel in the, la in the last couple of days. So I think just getting everybody used to how each other plays, but I think it worked. Okay, it worked. thank you very much.